Report Chart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. It was Veterans Day this week, and we salute all those who serve. Thank you very much. Markets remained open for the holiday, though, so trading continued. We are in the thick of earnings season this week with almost 20 different companies delivering their numbers. But before we get into that, cannabis retail tech firm Spring Big announced it was going public through the Tuatara SPAC. The post-transaction valuation is listed at $500 million, and it is being suggested that the company will have $200 million in cash after the closing. Now, it is worth noting that Spring Big is only on track to report $24 million in revenue in 2021, so that's a pretty frothy valuation. Cheerleaf Holdings is buying Western State operator Trike Companies, better known for its reef dispensaries and a deal valued at approximately $286 million. The acquisition is expected to close in the second half of 2021. Curly said it's going to be immediately accretive, and Trike is expected to deliver nearly $110 million in full year 2021 revenue. Turning in one of the best earnings reports this week was Green Thumb Industries. Their third quarter revenue increased 48% to $233.7 million, GTI's same-store sales growth was 14% on a base of 48 stores, driven primarily by increased transactions. Grow Generation reported third quarter 2021 revenues of $160 million. The company said it's on track for full year revenue of, get this, a range of $435 to $440 million. GrowGen also delivered a net income of $4 million. Cresco Labs announced its revenue grew 2.6% sequentially to $215 million, and that was an increase of 40% over last year. Still, Cresco recorded a non-cash impairment charge of $291 million. They said that was due to a strategic shift in their California operations. That ended up resulting in a net loss for the quarter of $263 million. Having said all that, Cresco reaffirmed its guidance for revenue in the fourth quarter of between $235 million and $245 million. Aurora Cannabis announced its results for the first quarter of 2022, and they said total cannabis net revenue was $60 million. That was a 10% sequential increase from the prior quarter. Still, the company missed the revenue estimates, and they also reported a net loss of $12 million. Now, there are so many other earnings that we didn't cover here, so please head over to the website to get all the details. And if you weren't already aware, we have moved our newsletter delivery from Friday to Monday so you can get a heads up on all the things happening next week. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Market Report.